Hi, I'm Gia. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about painting with leather paint for Louis Vuitton bags. As you can see, I started it with blue. Um, this is not a real Louis Vuitton. This is actually a faux, a replica that I bought and I wanted to use the fake one as a practice of painting because I didn't want to try it, try it on an actual Louis Vuitton and then if I messed up trying it for the first time, I didn't want um, that to happen to my any of my bags. So I did buy a fake one and using it to test out or learn how to paint on a bag. Now, um, I am gonna show you, now I didn't complete this, but I have pictures that I'm showing on this video of people that have completed theirs. I am gonna complete one on a Louis bag or actually a wallet, um, something smaller that way, you know, it's not so time consuming. Plus um, the wallets that, that it don't really seem to sell. Now, the Sarah long wallets, they do sell, but the ones that are a little shorter with the little coin, little coin wallets, um, they don't really, they sell, but they sell for, you know, the retail or the, not the retail, but the um, secondhand uh, selling on those are really inexpensive. Some you can pick them up for like $50 on Poshmark. So if you, I know, and they stay on, there's so many on there. So if you actually do something different, like paint it with the leather paint, then yours would stand out and you can actually sell it for a little bit more and, and do that. And this is a real one. <laughs> I have it in a box. Put this to the side. Came with a little dust bag, but you know, like the like this. So this Louis, if I could not get a hundred dollars for it, I mean, if I did, it would sit on Poshmark and Macari for a while if I was asking a hundred dollars. And it's you know, it's it's not in the best condition, but. It is a real Louis, and it's very cute. It's got the little zipper coin in the back. So what people are doing is they're painting the front. So that way, it brings out some character on the bag. Like the multicolors that are really expensive. <laughs> well, that's what they're doing here with the two, um, you know, upcycle, refurbish, um, make it beautify. So you would do the front. Um, so like here, it has the two L's. I would probably just do this and then in here. Well, actually when you open it, so in here. And that way you see the front. Now, everybody that does their like their pochettes, the little pouches, the smaller wallets, they never do the back. They only do the front. So, um, I like that idea because you're not doing the whole thing. You're just doing the front, which shows, it's just brings character to it. So I may do it with this one because this is the only small Louis Vuitton wall that I have. So I will do it on this one and I will show you the end result. But I do want to, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you a little bit what I did. Now, I did it fairly quickly and if you look up close, there are a lot of like little imperfections, but for the most part, it looks good, especially from a distance, right? And um, I'm going to just do a couple more lines of different colors, and then that way you can see it. And I'm also going to put a description on the, or a link to the description of what I used. These are the paints that I bought. They're acrylic. Uh, leather paint. I got this on Amazon, so I'll, I'll put the link. And then I also got 
the brushes. And these are fine detailed brushes that you use. And I will kind of show you what I, what I do, what I kind of learned just from this, just from just doing this the best way to kind of, you know, fill that in and not go out of the lines, um, which I'll put that shortly in the video, but um, mostly you just kind of probably want to do dab the lines, the lining of it, not really paint it because it might spread. You only need very little, you just dab it in the paint, just dab a little bit. And then you want to just dab the outer, the lining and then you wanna go in that way. You have something to start with. And the reason why I'm not trying it out also on a real Louis Vuitton bag is because they, you also need to get a deglazer, which is not gonna come in until tomorrow, and you need a finisher. And those run about like $8 on Amazon. I'll put the link to those as well. So the deglazer is something you put on, you put on first. That way this doesn't, uh, when you, the paint doesn't uh, chip or scratch off, peel or anything. So it's like a deglazer and you put it on. Then when that dries, then you do and you do your paint and let that dry, which it dries fairly quickly. I mean, I'm, it's pretty much before I even finish it, the part that I started on is, is dried. Um, so it, pretty, it dries pretty instantly. And then you're gonna put the finisher. And that just kind of is the protection of it uh, to, to make sure that it, it won't be rubbing off or anything. So um, I'll put the links to that. And then, um, and I know I did start a video that I haven't finished yet on what people have asked me to do is to cut up a Louis Vuitton canvas and then show how to up, use that for upcycling. I did um, start that video. I have not finished it because I was waiting for certain tools to come in, but I did um, actually right here, I did do one and I will have that in the other video. I did do one. This is my very first one, but I added a little tiny pom-pom kitty cat. And I put it on Poshmark for $25. So it's the real canvas. I'm thinking now I might even paint this. A couple real pretty, but different colors. Like then put the blue and then put the white and then put the red or something, or you know, the orange, because the orange will look really good with the brown, the contrast. And then it comes with, you know, you could put this on, even though it's not a real Louis bag, <laughs> you can put this, oops, see, on there. So when you have your keys, you have, you could hook it up to your, how cute is that? So I'm good, I have a video on that that I'm gonna be finishing up um, shortly and I'll have that this week for you guys. So if you wanted to go that route instead of painting, you can, or you can do both, but you know, you can paint. So um, if you guys have any comments on or questions, please comment below. Please like my video. Um, I'd like to take the time to sit here and try to, you know, give everybody out there ideas. And I wanna thank you to thank all my subscribers that have subscribed so far. I really appreciate you guys. I do respond to every comment. And in the next video, I will probably read off some of the comments and answer them. Even though I answered you already, I wanted to then share that with the rest of YouTube. So I will have that on the next one. So I hope you enjoy this video and um, this will be coming on the next one. Thanks. Okay, so I just grab just a little bit of the paint. Just a little bit. And that's even too much. So I started outlining first, as you can see here. 
I started outlining it first. That way I can just dab within the line. Same with this one I'm gonna do. Now I might have too much paint on here. So I am going to, I don't have to stay here. I can go to the next one. I stay within the lines. Just depending on your comfort level of how you paint. If you feel more comfortable just dabbing it, the outer circle. Or with one brush, but because of the canvas, it's not a smooth surface. This one here, like I mentioned before, um, I bought a fake Louis Vuitton. That way I can practice on it. I didn't wanna just try to do this on a real one. So I just, a fake one off of them. Um, okay, see, so um, and I made a little mistake, kind of went out of the line, but I'm hoping that I can, you know, when it's all said and done, it's not going to really show. So you want to do this. It is time consuming. Um, this is a big bag. I would say you do it more to the, like the wallets, like the smaller little wallets. It won't take up much time. You only do one side. Most of people, when they sell these like painted, they only paint one side. They don't paint both, just the front. And um, so, I, or the little pouch, the, the bouchette <laughs> um, pouches. From Louis Vuitton, you can paint that just the front, and you know try to pick your colors first. Look at maybe some other ideas online of how other people painted it. So, so um, because if you had a pouch, it's going to be a lot smaller. If you had a wallet, it's a lot smaller. And I would I'd be on my second line or third line by now. But I wanted to just do one. This is drying. I wanted to do. If you put a lot of paint to dab on, I don't suggest it. I feel like it's too much glob. Just, just a little. Now this isn't perfect. I'm just trying to show you how you can paint. And you can just get a leather bag too and paint on it to practice before doing this to one of your wallets or, you know. Um, So, and then you can see this, see it's, and so you can go line by line. So you can go like blue, and then next one you can do like a, you know, pink, and then maybe white. So normally I notice people put white in the middle, so they go a little lighter, like once the white here, then you go like the pinks and the reds, and then over here they go a little darker, and then the white kind of puts it in the middle. So that's what I did. I st obviously I did not finish it. Um, I just wanted to show you that, that that can be done. I tested it on a, a fake Louis Vuitton. So obviously the canvas here is different. This actually is a lot harder than the softer um, canvas on a authentic Louis. But 
That way, I just wanted to make sure that if I made any mistakes, I did it on a fake bag. But I'm gonna do start doing these to some of my other bags I have. Like I have this bag. And I think I'm gonna try it on here. It's not too big. It might look really cute. Um, I have a lot of bags that I haven't even listed yet. So um, this is the idea and I wanted to show it to you guys today. Okay, so that was my video. I'm kind of showing you how to do it. Um, I never finished this bag because like I said, it was practicing. As you can see here, I put little dots of red dots of red to see that that might be something you might want to do you don't have to do the whole bag you could just do a half a bag i just put a little heart um you know just trying to see how how the also uh the brush works <laughs> but it's once again it's kind of hard because this is not a real one so this is going to be different than the actual canvas from a louis vuitton and i also don't have my deglazer so that's gonna make a huge difference too. Um, I was just practicing today and the deglazer is actually really important to put on before the paint. It's gonna make a huge difference. And I did this wallet. I didn't finish it, but you know, I did do the wallet and I just went up only up to here. I did not do the other side. I was only gonna do this side and I'm just gonna finish this up right here. I just don't know what colors to use yet. It just seems like the yellow doesn't seem to be working very well. When I on it, but like I said, I don't have a deglazer yet. I'm going to get it tomorrow, so I'm probably going to um, do the deglazer on these, and then put it on, and I'll, I'll see the difference. And I'm going to sell it. So um, that's another thing. And, um, one of um, the viewers asked me, "Where can I buy your stuff?" If I, I don't use Poshmark, and you can comment and say you like a certain bag or a certain wallet or wh whatever you, you know, you see of mine and I I'll ship it to you. I mean, do you pay for it and I'll ship it. It's not a, not a problem at all. You don't have to go to uh, Macari or Poshmark. Some people are not even set up with that at all. So that's fine. I also, and I use it for my own keychain because I loved it so much. So this is the one I have my keychain. I told you this is what I made, the Louis Vuitton canvas. And then I painted it. <laughs> and I just thought it's just so cute. And I can do this for you guys too. I can make you guys some and um, and then paint it for you as well. And then, um, you know, like I said, just comment below, say I'm really interested in the keychain holder. Uh, can you get me one? And, you know, we'll go from there. Um, and then, uh, like I said, just practice on anything. You can even get like a leather, just like an old leather a handbag you have or just anything. And then just practice because practice makes perfect, right? So I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Um, it's, it's not a really long video, but it's taken me like two or three days to really complete it. So I apologize, but sometimes it's a process when you start, you get started and then life happens and you have to step away from it. And so it's taken me a couple days to actually finish this video. But um, please, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button. And I will be doing the next video of the, how to really make these and put these together and show you what, how I cut up the canvas and all that other stuff. If you guys want to do that. Okay. So um, you guys have a great time. Have a great day. And I will see you on the next video.